What is going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today I'll show you guys how you can obtain the Legends class items for the Hunter, Warlock and Titan. Now the day before yesterday I uploaded a video discussing the Hidden Suits Regime Exotic Ornament that is obtained from a quest which continues on after you actually receive that ornament. These class items are what you get for completing that quest line. Now before we go any further into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like is much much appreciated. And as always guys, drop a comment down below to be in with a chance of winning my weekly emblem giveaway. Now for those who do not know about this questline, I will run you through exactly what's needed to actually get this serious ornament and these three class items. Now the quest you initially pick up from the speaker is called the Age of Triumph quest and there are many steps to it so let's go through them. The first part of the quest you need to complete 5 weekly story missions from the weekly story playlist. Once you've achieved that, you then are on the Eternal Vigilance part of this quest where you have to complete 3 patrol missions on the following destinations. The Cosmodrome, the Plaguelands, the Moon, Mars, Venus and the Dreadnought. The next part of the quest is called Shining Your Light, in which you can do one of two things. Kill 3 champions summoned by antiquated runes within the court of Oryx, or kill 3 perfected champions summoned within the Archon's Forge. Once you've done that you need to head back and have a chat with the speaker. You will then be guided to complete 3 Seaver Crisis Strikes. Once you've done that, the next step is called In the Gloom. Here you have to complete the weekly Nightfall. Once you've done that, your next step is called Up to the Challenge. Here you have to complete the challenge of the elders. Remember a sigil is needed to get into the challenge of the elders and this can be brought from Varix within the reef. Once you've completed the challenge of the elders, the next step is called Victory of Death. Here you have to complete two crucible bounties obtained from Lord Shax. But guys do not get these mixed up with the normal crucible bounties. These are actually obtained from Shax himself and he brings two per week now and has done since the Age of Triumph kicked off. They normally consist of 7 completed matches on a certain game type, primary kills as well and 2 other challenges associated with the actual game mode. For example, control you will have to capture 15 control points and get a beeline medal which is basically you capturing that B flag first within a match. Now once you've done that you can simply head back to the speaker and collect your Red Memorial Exotic Sewers Regime Ornament and you get a random legendary weapon with this as well. But the quest actually continues on and the next step is actually the last step in this actual quest where you will get these class items and it's to complete the featured raid. This week it is the Vault of Glass but you actually don't have to complete the whole thing, all you have to do is beat the last boss. So if you have a checkpoint you can use that too. And that is it guys, the quest is finished. Once you've done that, simply head back to the speaker and collect your reward. Now the class items are chroma enabled and damn I fucking love them. The hunters one in my opinion looking the best, obviously because hunters are master fucking race. But they all look quite good to be honest, as you can see them on screen now. A big thanks to Middle Life Crisis for the Titan footage. His channel can be found, linked in that video description if you do want to check him out. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for Daily Destiny, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to turn on email notifications so you never miss a video. And as always guys, I will see you on that next one.